is one of the most popular heroes the world over, so it shouldn't be surprising at all that he has many alternates. But which of them packs the biggest punch and mightiest smarts when it comes to power levels? Welcome back, Nerd Squad. We are back with a part two for you of our most powerful alternate versions of Batman. I have a lot of bizarre and epic alternate bats for you, so I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. Let's get into it. Number 10, the Batman from Red Sun. While we will be focusing on Batman here from Earth 30, the reality of Superman Red Sun, it should be noted that there are more and that really the symbol of Batman is what is so powerful here. However, it all started with one man who we aren't even given the true name of. We simply know him as Batman. It was his mission to take down the man responsible for his parents' murder, Pyotr Roslov. In his attempt to get to Roslov, however, he ended up being pitted against the Soviet hero Superman, aka the Red Sun. Batman almost succeeded in defeating Superman here, but Wonder Woman unexpectedly became free of her bonds, turning the tides of the fight in Superman's favor. In the end, Batman decided to take his own life rather than be captured, blowing himself up but confessing to Superman beforehand the truth about the corrupt Roslov, and in so doing, achieved his mission. While the original Batman died, others would later take his place in the fight for justice, inspired by the stories of his heroism. Number 9. Owlman Owlman isn't a direct alternate version of Bruce Wayne, as he's the older brother of Bruce on Earth 3, Thomas Wayne Jr., the elder son of Martha and Thomas Wayne. However, he is the equal counterpart to main continuity Bruce, considering his place on the crime syndicate as their Batman. And so, for that, we're going to include him here. When Thomas was younger, he orchestrated the death of his own parents as he believed they were squandering and mismanaging his inheritance, the family wealth. He even tried to get his younger brother, Bruce, whom he loved loved dearly to join him, but Bruce actually ended up getting cold feet and Thomas as such was forced to kill him. As Owlman, Thomas is much more dangerous as he does not have the same moral code as main continuity Batman, but is at the same level when it comes to his intellect, training and skills. And his plans, he's pretty good at plans too. And friends, before we move on to this next spot, if you are loving this list and you want more powerful alternate versions of Batman, be sure to let us know by giving this video a thumbs up. Two bat thumbs up. Do bats have thumbs? I don't think so. They have like little fingers on their wings. I think that's what they have. <laughs> little claws. Number eight, Richard Grayson. Dick Grayson is another alternate version of Batman who took up the cape and cowl following a Batman's supposed death. Being that he's been trained and pretty much prepared to take up the mantle his whole life, being Batman's first Robin, Nightwing makes for a pretty powerful alternate Batman. Controversial opinion, perhaps, but despite his following in Batman's footsteps in terms of his moral code, I would say he is still a more powerful alternate than Owlman. I know some people might say, like, not having morals makes you more powerful, but I I, I digress. At one point, actually, he and Owlman teamed up and almost enacted a plot to take down the crime syndicate together. Dick comes with years of training and is known for his genius intellect, forensic skills, is a master martial artist, and would go on to become a very capable spy and develop espionage skills later on when he infiltrates Spiral. During his time as Batman, following the events and apparent death of Batman in Final Crisis, Grayson would fight alongside Damian Wayne, who acted as his sidekick Robin. Number seven. Father Bruce. You might refer to him as Bat Priest based on this art, but his real name is Father Bruce, and he is the head priest of the House of Milk and Honey, a new version of the Gather House. Father Bruce makes an appearance in Milk Wars, the Young Animals imprint crossover with the DC main world and characters. He is prominently featured in part two of the crossover in the Mother Panic and Batman special. The thing is, Father Bruce isn't really an alternate, but he's so cool and this story is just so bizarre and great that I thought we needed to mention him here. I actually checked this out and then I was like, man, I gotta read Mother Panic, because I believe uh, the writer of Mother Panic is the one that, that writes this comic. I'm sorry, I don't remember their name off the top of my head, but you should check it out. Father Bruce is a version of Batman who has been twisted into a priest. Here Father Bruce is in charge of a small army of Robins known as the Holy Sidekick Choir of Merciful Justice, who he teaches using his book of Bat Manners and Divine Wisdom. They drink the milk created by Mother Partake, who does so in an eerie manner, she kind of creates it with her fingers, it's really weird, and have their histories rewritten by a golden machine. Bruce himself is trapped here until Mother Panic, aka Violet Page, manages to free 
him and he returns to his old self. But even in this alternate persona, he's pretty mighty. Also in this delusional, brainwash created reality, Bruce believes it is a priest crashing through his window, not a bat, that inspired him to take up the mantle of Father Bruce and become a priest. I just love that. I just love that he's like crashes through the window and he's like, who, who are you? And then he's like, I will become a priest as he like drinks the milk. <laughs> Oh, it's such a weird story. I like it. Number six, Man Bat Batman. Now, I know Taylor on his part one had Batman, aka Earth 43, turned vampire bats, but I figured why not bring you another vampiric version of the hero? Because I also just really love vampires and they're powerful. This alternate version of Batman is not actually a Bruce Wayne alternate, but instead is an alternate version of Kirk Langstrom, who we know in the main continuity as Man Bat. Kirk Langstrom here was working on a cure for cancer, specifically lymphoma which he himself suffered from. He didn't end up creating a serum that cured him, yay, but regrettably, due to its ties to bats, it also turned him into a pseudo vampire. As a vampire created by science, Langstrom became a part of the new superhero holy trinity in The Gods and Monsters. He possessed superhuman strength, durability, agility, and could fly, and also held onto his genius intellect. The one downside of his vampirism was that he did require blood in order to live. Comparable, but somewhat different to Marvel Morbius, who is also known as a pseudo vampire. Number five, Injustice Batman. Batman in Injustice not only has the moral high ground against Superman, who becomes a villain in this reality after the death of Lois Lane and their unborn child at his own hands due to the machinations of Joker and Harley Quinn, but Batman here also possesses the super pill, or more specifically, the 5U93R pill which kind of spells super if you look at it. This pill, when ingested, allows Batman or his ally, father figure, and loyal butler, Alfred, to go toe to toe with Superman, meeting him on his level when it comes to strength and durability. Number four, the Merciless. The Merciless is like the Wonder Woman version of the Dark Knights, as each of the core members is kind of meant to be a stand-in for a member of the Justice League. He initially teamed up with Diana Prince, AKA Wonder Woman, to take down Ares on his world of negative Earth 12 in the dark multiverse, but after doing so, was forced to take Ares' helmet before Wonder Woman could and use it to defeat her. He basically knew that Diana would not allow him to use it otherwise, and so he was like, nah, I kinda gotta take it, otherwise it won't get used. He took up her symbol in her honor and wields the power of Ares, but multiplied. He is amazingly strong and durable, can summon any weapon, influence others to anger or fighting, and is pretty much god level, so. Yeah. Number three, Super Batman. Super Batman was the name given to the Batman of Earth One when he traveled to Zur N R. In the main continuity, Zur N R was the name of Batman's alternate persona created when he witnessed the traumatic event of his parents being murdered that resides deep within his psyche. However, initially, Zur N R was the name given to a faraway planet in the golden age of Batman comics. It first appeared in issue 113 of Batman in the story Batman the Superman of Planet X. Here, Batman of Earth One is teleported a great distance to Zur N R to aid Batman, the scientist Tlano, who watched Batman from afar through a telescope and was inspired to become the Batman of his own world. So he's also Batman. However, the intergalactic threat that Tlano Batman faces here is too great, and he needs Earth One Batman's help. On this planet, Earth One Batman's unique Earth based human physiology makes him super strong, durable, and able to fly. Basically, he becomes Superman in terms of what he's capable of, which also at this time period I feel like would be pretty off the charts. Batman uses his powers to help Tolano and then is returned home afterwards and given one of Tolano's devices to keep as a memento. It doesn't work though, so it's basically just a little bit of junk that he can keep in his trophy case. Yay! <laughs> Number two, Dark Father. Dark Father was ultimately beaten by the superhero Holy Trinity, but only while they all kind of had a power upgrade all their own. He hails from the Dark Multiverse and is an alternate version of Bruce Wayne, who defeated Darkseid and took all his power and knowledge for himself afterward. Batman, as Dark Father, as such, is a new god and also wields the anti life equation, which he uses to influence others and to imprison them, forcing them to obey him and his will. He also also has all 
all the brilliance of main continuity Bruce and more. Number 1. Batman Who Laughs Also known as The Darkest Night, The Batman Who Laughs is an alternate version that is a combination of Batman and Joker. He comes from the dark multiverse reality of Negative Earth 22, where he as Batman ended up killing the Joker by snapping his neck after being pushed to the brink by the villain, who was dying anyways admittedly. When he did so however, he became infected by Joker Venom that was released by this very final action. After becoming infected, Bruce went insane and had most of his Bat family killed, except for his biological son, Damian Wayne, who joined his side. Batman Who Laughs would go on to become super powerful after acquiring the powers of Dr. Manhattan when he had his brain transplanted into the body of the Dr. Manhattan Batman alternate. The Darkest Knight even before this power upgrade was already pretty powerful because one, he was super popular which always gives characters power and two, he was a mentally ill genius which made him extremely deadly and dangerous to take on and kinda unpredictable. He also often fought against the superheroes he came up against with dark metal. In some cases, managing to infect them and in so doing recruit them to his own dark army. Plus he's got all those dark knights, so that's just another thing. Which alternate of Batman do you think is the most powerful? Who is your favorite version? Let us know in the comments below. This has been Top 10 Nerd and I'm your host Amanda McKnight saying thank you, thank you so much for watching and reminding you as always to stay nerdy YouTube.